G'day guys, Rob from TAT. Today I just want to give you a quick run through of how we made good use of Azra to install a new instrument cluster on this Ford Territory SZ model. So if you're not signed up with Azra yet, uh, make sure you jump on and sign up as we'll all be needing it going forward and the more we use it and you know report bugs or anything like that, the more improvement can be made going forward. So obviously to do this job, the first thing you need is a J2534 pass-through device, something like this, a Kardec 3 Plus, which is what we have. Um, and obviously you need to get the Ford software installed, which you can also find it through Azra, but I won't show you that at the moment. Um, as you can see here, I just want to show you how we can just grab the license for it. Because um, once you've got the software on your computer, all you have to do is sign up for a license whenever you want to grab one to be able to use the software itself. So. Uh, if we just jump on Azra here, we go to Ford um, and we just scroll down to the diagnostic uh, software license key. Then you click the diagnostic tool link, choose your subscription uh, from the list here and then send a screenshot. Once you make payment, the um, best thing to do is take a screenshot of that and then email it to the Ford email address r2raus at ford.com. Um, and that will, you know, expedite the process and they'll be able to get that license key to you uh, faster. Um, and obviously once we put the license key in, we're able to use FJDS to carry out the central car configuration, calibrate the audio control module and set the odometer of the new instrument cluster. And that was it, completely all done, very quick process. I think the, the longest part is getting all the, um, the Ford stuff installed on your computer, but getting in regards to getting the license key and putting it in the software and using the software, it's all relatively easy. So super simple summary, but just showing you guys, so you know, a lot of people are afraid to use Azra or, or use these OEM links. But you know the, the initial headache is the um, is the install of the software the first time on your computer. Once you do that, everything usually is pretty smooth. So there you go, guys. Just a quick summary of how we were able to use Azra and FJDS to get this job done for our customer. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.